like it start transferring and actually takes me somewhere. <laughs> um, Well, I just want to expand training too, so. Okay. <laughs> just stop taking that. Just in case, you know, we're not going to go to Education Connection or anything. Um, okay. So, this is how it goes. What you do is you select, when you select the vendor that it goes to, it gives you the verbiage. Um, of that um so obviously you know if you're and there's all scripting verbiage so obviously your education dynamics is going to say they have 25 to 30 minutes to speak today um and they want to get information on their online options now your um liquid in-house it's just your general they want to have, they want some more information on their education options. Um, and then your liquid WT is, um, they have 25 to 30 minutes to speak today and they want some information on their, their, um, ed their education options. So it's basically the, it's setting it up for a WT, but I don't have a computer. Mm -hmm. And so. Now, how, how are y'all able to skip around with the handoff? We're not. Because, well, we keep getting handoffs where the handoff verbiage keeps changing or it's shortened or it's not fully there. I think some of those calls are trying to figure out. out. I think part of that is well, how, how that happens here, if that makes sense. The only way that really you can only, especially with SR4, the only way you can really skip is if, let's say, I'm going in-house, but I'm using education dynamics verbiage and it'll say hi there i've got an applicant on the other line were you able to pull up their information i'll hit that because it'll it really says their id oh, okay is. so that's what's going on that's why i got confused for a second because i saw that there was something that said the id number but i've never had anybody say their id number so yeah it was because that goes to those calls usually are better to education connection mm -hmm. but that is this is a wt call my whole conversation with my applicant was on a WT track. So advisor, I'm, I'm using the WT handoff with my in-house advisor. That's where you may get that. And then sometimes lately, um, the calls have been rolling over. So if I'm going to education, I'm going to education connection or education dynamics, and I get, hi, thank you for calling education match, well, I'm in that verbiage, so it's gonna give me that, but it's just not gonna populate an ID number. So then it's like, oh, huh, <laughs> you know? So sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it's not intentional, sometimes it's a rollover call, and sometimes it's just that person didn't stop it too soon to cut it and say. Were you able to pull up their information? Because sometimes they won't even say that. Sometimes like, they'll just go straight to like the interest. And they were interested in education and teaching? They want some more information on their possible education. Yeah, like sometimes they'll skip those buttons. That's, yeah. just them the that's just a bad advice there. I'm okay. sorry. No, no, that's <laughs> I just wanted to know if, that, if that's like a glitch on something. Yeah, or, no, you're supposed just, to be okay. hitting all of those buttons. Okay. Is there any way you can go to where it's supposed to do the in-house verbiage? Mm -hmm. Hi there. I've got an applicant on the other line. Were you able to pull up their information? Yeah, thank you. So I still feel like even on this, it's missing parts of the script that we have. Because when it shows us, like when we get our, on our Oscar presentation. No, it's, it's just the language like that translates over. Right, we have a huge giant red blocks that they never say anything close to. Yeah. Yes, but if you look at your actual handout that we got, that script right. is identical to the DCS handoff. That's so what it's it is, just, yeah. It's, it's identical to the DSF, the DCS handoff. What it is is it's just not transferring. It's just not transferring that verbiage over to our script for okay. the handoff. That makes sense. But it is following the script. If you have the paper script in front, that's how I found out because I had the paper in front of me and I was like, I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on here. Right. Like, like I saw one that, that, that DCS. Certainly, that's what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. 
And then I think I'm going to see. Okay. Hey, are you there? Okay. So I've got my advisor on the line with us. Very knowledgeable. They're going to be able to get you all the information you need. Yeah. We're going to stay in contact by you. <laughs> yeah. Say it like you know it, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Will. So that's, that's pretty much in a nutshell from the beginning to the end. Yeah. Do you know his history on Stonebreaker? Like, were they, I know, like, Will made it up, so, like, did he get paid out for it to, to oh, inventing know. this? Or, like, what? was this, was not like I'm saying, like, how was it developed? Was it completely just a little thing or soft rock? It was, it's both. Will, um, Will and soft rock, um, at the time, we had a CTO that is no longer here, and they actually built this interface. So oh. that's kind of, it's more of the SR3. But it was Will's idea. But it was, it was Will, was yeah. Rock. Will um, came up with the whole thing and the whole robocalls and and um, just taking the idea of soft rock and saying, hey, let's do this. They tested it out. It was back to back, but it was called Merc. They were the Merc calls. And like then. <laughs> so, yeah, it kind of graduated a lot from then to now. To now. Oh, yeah. So they well, yeah, because at the time, I say at the time that this rolled out, I was in advising, and so I was giving those calls, and it took me forever to. I would have people ask me like, "Was I talking to a robot?" I was like, "No, I think because I thought that Will just sounded like he was chewing his face, like you know how some people just talk like that." Yeah. And I just it didn't dawn on me until one day somebody told me like, "That's Will." Will calls because they never call Will calls mm -hmm. until they call them, and, and then it's like, oh, oh, really? And then this getting into the technology aspect is fascinating. Now it's more our in-house IT um, has taken over, and now we've got SR four and mm -hmm. SR five, and we kind of rebuilt the interface, and we still got Will involved, but there are different. Um, like there are different, I've heard different scripts with different recordings with different people and different mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So you never really know. It's always, it's the thing about soft rock. Like the only constant thing about soft rock is change and we thrive on innovation. So you never expect for anything to stay the same. I was gonna say, why, they don't, why don't they have a girl voice? Like, they, they do. They're well, recording they, one. Yeah, yeah, recording yeah, there's a couple one, of them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's Amy. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what she means. But, um, so DR, they're on SR3, right? SR, and DR is that? actually in the process of transitioning from SR3 to SR4 right. and training for SR5. So, yeah, like when I went down there, I actually was training the managers to go from SR3 to SR4. Mm -hmm. And like since I've been down, that was in February, since I've been down, like they have always are down there. Like Alexa was down there for like a month. Yeah, but a lot of good stuff. Yeah, Zubanika <laughs> went down there. So they're, you know, constantly going down. And the goal That's is cool. to have everybody on the same page. And we're all, you know, on SR5. And you know, moving forward and innovating. Oh my God, I love that. Six. So, I mean, 